morning church, Emmanuel. Um, before I go into my testimony, I want to adore God. I want to honor God, the reason why we are all gathered here today. Our daddy, Prophet Joy Sakaruna, always calls him the omnipotent, omnipresence, and omniscience God. I joined this church in 2015 on August, and God has been great. For those who have seen me when I started the church till today, there's a huge difference. I need not to mention it. Um, what brings me today is what God recently did for me. So on the 31st of January, I was preparing for the crossover night. And I said to myself, today I'm not going to write prayer points, but I'm going to write a letter to God. This is the letter that I wrote to God. I wrote this letter and I highlighted seven things in red pen that I want to see happening. And when we came here at church, I was a bit down because at some point I thought I wasn't going to attend the crossover. But I eventually came and we were given instructions. For those who are here, I'm sure you still remember what daddy said. So early morning as I got back home, I told myself I'm not going to go inside the house until I fulfill these instructions. So I took the anointing oil as he instructed and I used this one in particular. I poured it on the ground like he had mentioned and I declared to the God of right here right now and I mentioned everything that I wanted. Top priority was getting a job. And after that, I went, switched on my candle, opened the verse that he gave us. I think it was Psalms 24 if I'm not mistaken. And I prayed and I rotated around the candle clockwise seven times and declaring to the God of right here, right now, what I wanted. Because that's the instruction we were given. And after that, I left the Bible opened. I went to sleep. When I went to sleep, I woke up. I found my son in the room and I was shouting at him because I thought he switched off my candle. But instead, God sent him to give me an answer. He had opened my Bible and the verse he opened was more like a word of encouragement and comfort that I needed. I stayed and I just continued with life. On the 8th of January, I was feeling so sick. I was lying down and I got a call. They asked me, are you still looking for the job? I said, yes, I'm still looking for the job. Um, I said, okay, what do I need to do? When is the interview? They said, there is no interview. We've checked your CV. We've checked everything. This is an emergency post. We need you right now. So I was like, okay, well then what do I do? Ma'am, can you please tell us for how long you were looking for a job? I've been looking for the job for the longest since I went to school, graduated last year. I've never had a job whereby formalities are met. I sign a contract and everything is done accordingly. So for me, this is more like a first job, if I should put it in that way. So... When I, went, when I dropped the call, I got an SMS saying that I've been booked for my MIE. And I went, and when I went there, the system was offline. I told them the system is offline. I could not do my fingerprints. They said, we don't care about that. We've checked you. We don't think there's anything of concern. Start working tomorrow. I went to work. And when I went to work, they booked me for my other MIE results. Because if you're working in an FSP, those are like a major requirement. And the results came, the results they sent to the office said that I have a fraud listing. And I was crying that day because that very same day they stopped me. They said, you should not come to work until it's resolved. So I said, I'm not going to let this slide. I'm just not going to let this go. I made calls everywhere, all the departments, even the South African Prevention Fraud Service, because I wanted to be sure, what is this? Because I know for sure I haven't done anything wrong. They said on their system, everything is fine. On their side, everything is well. Maybe there are glitches. My employer received the wrong results. So I called my employer. They said I should relax. They will get, get it done or get it sorted. At 9 o'clock in the evening, HR called me and they were saying, we're not even supposed to call you this night, but because of you, we had to work extra time and overtime because that position cannot remain empty. So tomorrow you go back to work. They sent me an email apologizing that I received the wrong results, everything is fine, I do not have any fraud listing or whatsoever. I am so grateful to God because at some point I thought maybe I shouldn't have told people in my family that I got a job.
Because anytime I tell people anything, it just becomes a distraction. Let us care for Master Jesus. So I'm grateful, very, very grateful, because as much as it is a temporal position, I'm already getting noticed at work to the point that my colleagues were asking me, what is it that you have? Because this man is very racist. He will never give a black person a handshake. But I'm one of the people he gave a handshake, welcomed me, showed me all over the place, and everyone was amazed. Amen. Let us clap for Master Jesus. Ma'am, can you please share with us a word of advice? The word of advice I have is, be humble. Humility brings out the best. Because at some point, I was ready to be a cleaner, be anything, as long as I wake up and I'm productive. And God has been grateful. Daddy located me many times to the point that before I had a job, I started a cleaning company. And it was January last month, but the sales are made. Everyone was crying. I wasn't crying. So I'm grateful. I'm employed and a business owner at the same time. And I give God all the glory. Amen. <clears throat> Ma'am, we thank you for sharing your wonderful testimony. And we believe that God will indeed do glorious things in your life. Amen.